Hey everybody, welcome to my uh, packing video for the Camino de Santiago. This is the backpack I'll be taking, same one I took two years ago in 2016. And in here, this actually will not be carried in the backpack when I'm walking most of the time. This is what's left of the guidebook. I actually tore the pages out that I don't need this year since I'm starting in Burgos. Cut the maps out from another guidebook. And then I have my schedule and stuff like that there. This may or may not be in the backpack. It's actually got my, it'll have my wallet, my money, uh, passport, Camino credential or passport, backup battery for the phone, which is videoing this. The phone is the, really the only piece of technology I'm taking with me. Um, it's gonna be my camera, my video camera, my connection to the world phone, etc. My hat, which I bought a few months ago. It's looking a little dingy, but it's going as is and the backpack. So let's see what's in here. I'm actually going to try and carry this on. Should be fun. Um, so let's see what's in here. Let's flip this around. We'll take everything out so you can see a lot of it. I am going to be dumping some stuff out of here because it's still a little heavier than I want it to be. And what I've had to do is uh, on this top thing, there's stuff in here that, I'm gonna, that I've taken out and put it in the body of the pack for the trip, just to make the backpack fit the dimensions of carry-on luggage. Um, these are going. Tape, gotta have tape for your foot. I love this stuff, this Band-Aid medical tape, and it has to be Band-Aid. There are medical tape built, made by the people, they're not as good. They stay in the top, so if I need them for my feet, I can get to them right away. Uh, this actually will be carried on my backpack, on my straps. This is what I put my cell phone in. When I carried my cell phone in 2016, it was constantly covered in sweat. This keeps it nice and uh, unsweaty, and if it rains, it gives it some protection. So that's good. And that's it for this right now. Underneath, I have a little privacy place here. You can put more stuff in. And uh, so I've got this uh, sack here, and I believe, I'm gonna have to look. I hate to open all these. Oh yeah, these are, this is my electronics. This is my, uh, my adapter and the cords that I need to plug into so I can recharge everything that goes in here and probably some of my money stuff will go in there as well. So let's get to the body of the pack. And this by the way is an Osprey 48. It's a Kestrel 48 backpack. Uh, here we go. Rain pants are going to go in the top. These are the cheapest rain pants, lightest rain pants I could find. Uh, this is foot care stuff. There's some compete in here, band-aids, stuff like that. Um, I got? Ah, okay, this is my rain coat, which is all shoved into one pocket on the side. But this will be my rain coat, also to keep me warm because it's cooling down over there a lot, unfortunately. Uh, and so this it will be normally in the uh, lid of my pack, but for now it's not. Here's my, what you would call camp shoes if I was actually camping. But when I get done for the day, when I reach my albergue, my hotel, I'll wear these to air my feet out and let my uh, trail runners cool off and dry out. Uh, do I need to say what that is? TP, you need it. Okay, uh, I've got shirts in here and pants. I'm only taking a couple of shirts. Of course, I'll be wearing, obviously, a pair of pants, underwear, and shirts. And what you have here are socks. I'm taking darn, three pair of darn tough socks, not just two. I'm kind of overloading on that. That's three. But I've got uh, two long sleeve shirts in here. One's a button up the front kind of thing, and the other one is a pullover to help me keep a little warmer. Uh, I've got a t shirt, and uh, of course, another pair of pants. So, two pairs of pants. This is to hang up my laundry at the end of the day after I hand wash. And this is uh, got my soap in it. I have two different things in here. I have two little containers of body wash. Then I actually have a soap container full of soap, which is supposed to do the same thing, but it's really soft. I don't think it's going to last the three weeks I'm on trail, so or on the Camino. So what I'm going to do, uh, I just bought a couple of travel size body washes just to make sure I have enough. It's a little heavy, but oh well. Um, here we go. In here pants and a pair of shorts, microfiber, lightweight, zip off pants and microfiber shorts as well. Uh, let's see, do I remember what's in here? It might be my underwear. 
drugs. These are my blood pressure meds. Can you hear it? Yeah, they're in there. I will be taking, of course, that every day. Um, these wet ones, I'm getting rid of. This is my travel towel. Got to have a towel. So that's there. And that's it, except for down here on the bottom. We have, let me just unsnap these. Instead of the sleeping bag I took in 2016, I am taking this blanket with me. It's lighter and it's a little more uh, flexible. I could use it for some other things. I, it's gonna be cold. This may be a mistake not to take my sleeping bag, but that's what I'm gonna do, mainly because it's lighter and it does give me some warmth and some protection. And I have, I have two of these. I'm not sure where the other one is, but this is Mio. Put it in my water, you know, just kind of change it up a little bit. And, um, oh, the other one might be on the side pockets. Let's see, what did I put? I've got two side pockets on this thing, which in 2016, ah, there it is. I didn't even know I had side pockets on this, but I do on each side. So let's just put both of those in there right now. That takes care of that. And over here, this one is empty. So that's it. That's, yeah, that's it. There's a uh, thing right here that protects the backpack, theoretically, when it rains. And so there you go. Oh, and also in here, yes, this also has my, uh, instead of just having this hat, I also have a, uh, a knit cap with a little brim on it for when it gets cold. I'm sure I'm going to need this in the morning. It's already down to like in the 40s in the mornings over there, so, which might not be cold to you, but it is to me. So, I'm going to repack all this stuff and weigh this baby one more time, and then we'll see the exact weight. It's, it was yesterday somewhere around 18 pounds, so we'll see what we get. All right, folks, I just weighed in. Here it is. It's backwards. It's 15.10 pounds. 15.10 pounds. Yeah. That's a little lighter than last time. I was actually about around 18 pounds in 2016. So there you go. So that's it. That's my kit for Camino 2018. 360 miles, roughly, from Burgos to Finisterre. That's my goal. Will I do it? Go to discipleup.org, click on the hiking link. There's a PDF there you can get that gives you my calendar, my schedule that I'm going to try and keep, although I can already tell you right now I'm going to uh, go a little further, certainly on the first day, Lord willing, and some other days hopefully as well. But it'll let you know generally what I'm doing, my schedule. I'd like you to pray for me. If you've got anything you want me to pray about, let me know. All right, this is Louis saying thanks so much for watching, y'all. And uh, Keep me in prayer. It all starts Monday when I fly. I will be walking. The first day of walking is next Wednesday, October 3rd, as I hit the ground to walk to the end of the world, Finisterre. That's what Finisterre means. It's actually called Finisterre now, but it originally was Finisterre. It means the end of the world. The Romans thought that was the furthest point west on the Iberian Peninsula. And if I make it, I will have walked in two tries over a million steps, because it's about a million steps from St. Jean to Santiago. So there you go. All right. Take care, everybody. God bless you. And I'll see you later.